Hello, I'm Dr. Alessandro Lelli. I've been working in Bologna for 32 years, and since 1981, I've been interested particularly in knee surgery. My clinical records include 800 ligament reconstructions per year, 300 total knee replacement surgeries, including partial and revision surgery, and roughly 40 cartilage transplants. We're very often faced with acute knee lesions or patients with pain, where we have to perform standard tests, jerk test, pivot shift, but it's extremely difficult due to hematomas or pain. This test can be performed by any orthopedist, male or female, so it's not very important if he or she has strong arms. It is important to test the exact functionality of the anterior cruciate ligament. When we look at some magnetic resonance images, most times the radiologist records a partial lesion, a fascial lesion, a subtotal lesion, a healthy cruciate. But the patient then says, but my knee buckles because it doesn't hold up. I developed this test watching my son with his trousers belt. He often pulled up his trousers even though his belt was intact, though loose. Therefore, a loose belt is of no use because otherwise your trousers will fall down. I call this the Lely test, a leverage indicator, and it's easily reproducible also in acute knee lesions, therefore applicable on professional athletes. Healthy knee. According to the MRI, this patient has a healthy knee. But if we examine this knee, you exert a minimum pressure, even with one finger, and his foot comes up. If we examine the affected knee, the foot doesn't come up. So whatever the MRI tells me, I don't care about because this is a signal to check the functionality of the anterior cruciate ligament. So if the foot doesn't come up, the cruciate ligament doesn't work. Then if the magnetic resonance tells me it's a partial or total lesion of one fascicle or two fascicles, or whether it's healthy, I don't care. If the foot isn't up, it's a total lesion. I'm saying this because I've done it with certain patients. Rupture of the patellar tendon, the foot comes up. Lesion of the collateral ligaments, the foot comes up. Lesion of the posterior cruciate, the foot comes up. This is an isolated test for the rupture of the anterior cruciate. I'll do it again. Here, the foot comes up with one finger. Here we have the tibial tubercle, then two or three fingers under the tibial tubercle. And in this case, the foot doesn't come up. Therefore, I reverse the contraction of the quadriceps, and even if the patient is stiff, even if he's contracted, it doesn't matter. The foot doesn't come up. Thank you.